Hey guys, Jonas and Rob here. We're actually together this week and we're gonna talk about camera bags or what we bring on a, on a field shoot. This is uh, a camera bag video. Holy moly, this is, is way lower. <laughs> So this video is by request. Someone said, hey, what's in your camera bag? And so we're like, we'll show you what's in our camera bag. Yeah, we got our field equipment with us and we wanna show you what's in it. So there's three obvious things that everybody brings. Camera, lenses, audio. We'll show you what we have very quickly at the beginning, but then we wanna get into more interesting stuff. Yeah, we both wanna pick out three things that we have in our camera bags that you might not have thought of. And at the end, we'll quickly show you everything in the bag. Okay, first for the basics. My cameras are a Canon. 5D, it's a Mark II, and my Sony uh, A7S, which is this little one here. It's kind of powerful for being a small camera. My lenses are, uh, first of all, my wide-angle 1635 Canon lens, macro lens, it's a 100 mil uh, macro, and my telephoto lens, which is a Canon 7200. This is my basic kit. This is stuff that I always bring. Now for the cameras that I bring, since we're shooting with it, I'll just show you this. I just bring the Canon 5D Mark III. And this is what I bring for lenses. And this is the one different lens that I have. It's my 15 mil Canon lens. I really like this for self-shooting because you can hold the camera only about right here and you get the whole person in the shot. So that's my favorite lens. So for audio, I have a wireless Sennheiser kit like this. And then I also have a Shure shotgun mic that looks like that. Now my audio gear is similar. I have a wireless lavalier microphone set. I like the Sony's. I also have the Shure microphone. Jonas copied me, but I really like this one. In part because right here in the front, you can put a little SD card and use it as a remote audio device. So that's really cool. I wanna show you my three things first that I always bring that I kind of enjoy having on field trips. This is one, this is a, a TTL cable. It attaches to my flash. It allows me to kind of pull out the flash and get the flashlight from the side instead, even though it's still attached to the camera. Uh, some people use a wireless unit for this, but I kind of like the cable because it doesn't, you know, act up as much. I like the, the, the idea of having the cable here. This is one piece that I really love. The next thing I have is this handle. I actually have a couple of units that look somewhat similar. This handle is one. Uh, a lot of times when I'm out shooting, I have several things I wanna attach to the camera, like uh, my audio equipment or a light or a flash. And this basically just allows me to put more things onto the camera while I'm shooting and holding it like this. So this is one little piece that I really like to bring. All right, the third thing I want to bring up is this. It's actually attached to the outside of my bag, and it's a white balance calibration card. One side is white, one side is gray, and I use this to calibrate the white balance with especially my Sony camera. But it's a little bit difficult to explain this in a short video like this one, so I promise we're gonna make a separate video on this soon. One of my favorite things to do is time lapses, so what I have is not just one, but two time-lapse recorders, um, partly because sometimes I bring two cameras, but also these cords really kick out on you quite often because they just get worn out in your, worn out in your camera bag. And they're really cheap, so I've got two of these. Now, the next thing that I bring is this waterproof card holder. Inside here, I keep the very valuable part of your kit, meaning the cards that have all the photos on them. You never wanna lose those cards. They are where all your raw data is. Um, so not only can I put SD cards in, I can put compact flash cards in. I also have this little adapter for those little mini SD cards that are so tiny and you always lose them. Um, anyways, that's where they all go, right here. You guard this with your life. It also makes them a little bit bigger so you're less likely to lose them. Important part of my gear. Now this is gonna sound oddball, but when you were in the rainforest and you were trekking for a week at a time, you wanna have this on hand. This is absolutely called Loperamid. These are your diarrhea pills. <laughs> I don't know if I need to explain this. This is for diarrhea. If you are in the rainforest in a remote location, chances are somebody is gonna need this well, you're gonna be the hero when you carry it. So it's tiny, I just throw this into my bag. Oddball. This is like a whole card of memories right here. <laughs> Jeez. 
<laughs> now for the full bag. That's a quick overview. Again, this is just our field production setup. It's like the minimal amount of gear that we bring on a shoot. So there's a lot more gear that we have for fancy shoots. This yeah. is just the basics. If you're new to this channel, we wanna thank you for stopping by. Uh, feel free to go ahead and check out some of the other videos that we have. And give us some comments. What fun things do you guys have in your camera bags? Uh, put it in the comments box below here. And thanks for watching. See you in another video. Jonas's bag is a lot bigger. As you would expect. <laughs> First of all, can I just say there's a reason I have a smaller bag? The size of your camera bag is always related to how much you can carry. So basically muscle mass. <laughs> <laughs>